Okay, hi, welcome to the seventh part of preparing an, a Linux server for a startup. We prepared the whole LAMP server. Now our programmer asked us for Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch from Elastic.co is a software solution, the independent software, it's free software also, so we can install it on our server to help people do a better search. In old days, I had to write my own search, check the database if this is the case. Now I install Elastic on my server. I just tell Elastic, remember that this user had this. Remember that I have this commodity. Remember that this product with these features. And then I can just tell it, give me products with this specific feature and it will search, return answers. It can be fuzzy. So if I don't know the exact name of the product, it will still return it and all the other helps. So more and more, you will see many people install Elastic and on the Elastic, uh, it just lets you call the APIs. Whenever you have something new, you can just tell Elastic, I have this, I have that, I have this, I have that. And then tell, okay, give me these things. And it's uh, much, much easier than writing your own search. So people install Elastic. Let's try it. So uh, let's SSH to Wahid's machine. Uh, this is it. Hopefully I know the password. Yes, I do. So. Now I'm SSH'd. This is the Elastic. In many of these kind of softwares, also it's good to check for Kibana, for Logistash, other products from the same company are very nice. Most of the times I can go and they have a Debian package, which I can install, but it's always good. So let's become root. Check if we have a update. Huh? some other issue we were not able to ping the dnss now it's solved so we have to prepare this one too make it permanent but anyway at this moment it's always good to whenever you are checking a normal server on a web check for updates it's more secure less bugs hopefully and also if you don't update your server regularly you will log in into it one year later with lots of updates and most people are will be scared of doing this much update in one step so it's better to do it regularly so okay let's search if we have elastic search in the repository not sure if elastic search it's very nice. If you have the elastic search in the repository, practically it's very easy. apt install elastic search. Yeah. And we don't need to do anything. Uh, otherwise we had to download this and install this, which is still very easy. Always in the end, there is one getting started guide. There is some kind of guide. It's good to have a look here. Basic concept, installation, how to do the install, explore your cluster, set up Elasticsearch. It's always, as a good system administrator, it's good to have a look, especially on these huge softwares. Most of the times you have to do the first uh, configuration, sometimes even because of security reasons. ETC always are my uh, most of the software's configurations are in ETC, so I will go to the ETC, see the Elasticsearch, okay, it's here, standard, VI, it's a YAML file. It's like a very easy human readable, computer readable configuration file. Some people like it, some people don't, but Elasticsearch is in YAML, so it's not about if you like it or not, you have to use it. Uh, it's like this, the YAML. For example, it says cluster name is this. We have only one machine, so I will write my own node name, Tavanito Elastic1. 
if you have more, more than one installation of Elasticsearch on different machines, you can give them different node names, but same cluster name. So they will find each other and will work. Node is, node is master, true, node is data. These are the default, so no need to change. Ah, uh, let's check the ports. Normal ports are 9200 to 9300 because you can have different nodes. So whenever you bring one up, it will try to find the first one. If not the next one, the next one, the next one. And the different nodes will speak with each other with this one. Let's try this. The easiest, we just did this. Okay, system CTL. Status, not the status, let's enable it first. Elastic search. Oh. Start Elastic search. Oh. Let's try it. You see, in it, the Elastic search start. Is it started? Let's try netstat and a will show all the connections. I will grab for listen. So I will see all the listening softwares. 9200 is not there, so it's not up. Uh, system CTL status now it's here. Elasticsearch. It's active but exited. Hmm. So it's started but stopped. Let's try restarting it once. Oh, this happened again. Ah, uh, the reason can be different things. But normally, if you want to troubleshoot something like this, it's good to check the actual. I'm editing the actual startup script. It says, OK, this is the thing. The path is here. The name is Elasticsearch. All the defaults goes here. So it's good idea to check this to see what tries to start the server. Then we have some stuff like which user runs it. This can be different, but most of the times it's a good idea to check the defaults. Elastic search. This can be the reason I've seen this before. Start daemon should be true because when you're starting it, you should start it as a daemon. So it will stay up. We'll listen to the queries. Let's try it. ETC, init, or we can do with the system CTL, more modern style. System CTL status uh, elastic search. Okay, it started but exited. Instead of status, we will go with restart status. We did it! It's active and running, very easy. You could find the same, same thing in this. Uh, internet very easy if you do a search you will find that people have this kind of problems another way was trying to run it manually and see okay if elastic search normal elastic search runs so it's a problem with the daemon I have worked with the same problem for hours before now it was easy but it's always the same path anyway this is called the uh, experience but normally same thing happened, it just may take a little bit long. So now we have the elastic search at least tells that I'm running. First I I will enable it. So next after next reboot the system will be up. Now let's try to net stat and a grab listen, show me the open ports on this machine. Ah see. Now it's working. This is the internal listener. Also, there should be one on the 9200 somewhere. Anyway. Ah, because I get. 
sen will give me less here okay so and where does it listen ah listens here on ip version 6 okay let's wait and see if our programmer complains otherwise it's good enough or i can edit the yam file find the binding port okay i will tell listen to this ip let's do this also for security reasons it's good to just listen to the local host let's do the restart okay check the status okay it's running i press ctrl r then i will just type list it will search backwards in the commands i've already done okay this is safer because it's listening only on the local host and most probably uh my guy is also using this port we can try with the curl i will send a get request curl can create requests to different sites i will see http local heist it says oh hi i know this is the normal port and if you send the get request to the uh, elastic search it will answer with 200 which is okay say uh, my name is tavanito folan and doing bahman nice you know for search very nice so practically now we have our elastic search configured let's exit the server be happy and the next one let's see what we've been asked to do but for sure we will have the part 8 too enjoy <laughs>